Hello guys, this is the Epiphany. Today I'd like to show you a tutorial for the uh, Rebellious Spirit Spirit Monster, which is for one of the Ice Dofu's quests. He wants to be buried at sea. I do not have any intention of getting uh, um, Ice Dofu's. I was actually stuck on this quest for a couple of months, but then I saw a guy needing help. So I'm like, oh, I might as well do it. Uh, yeah, but I already finished like 20% of the Ice Dofu's quest from doing uh, a line, uh, Ivory Dofu's, so it's quite lucky. Okay, so to get into the fight, we are transformed into three, um, well, we're each transformed into a pirate, and we have four spells only. We have 49 HP and um, 6 AP, 4 MP. Uh, the four spells, the first spell on the left, which is orange, is called Pusher, and what it does is it pretty much just pushes the target uh, two squares back. Uh, the second spell, which is uh, called Vampiric Harpooning, which is, it has one range, uh, and it does um, moderate damage uh, at close combat, and it steals HP. The second spell, which is the most useful spell, uh, heals up allies uh, with 2 AP spell. Uh, yeah, heals up allies uh, moderately, because it's very important to keep each other alive in this fight. The third... Uh, the fourth spell is called Perforation, and what it does is it's classed in a straight line, and it does very low damage. So to be honest, the best thing to do in this fight would pretty much be keeping each other alive, and letting the monsters hit each other, because there are two types of monsters here. There's a Rebellious Spirit and a um, Cannon Spirit, uh, four Cannon Spirits. And at the start of every turn uh, of the Cannon Spirits, they attack anyone who is uh, in a straight line with them, so both horizontally and vertically. So we, we want to move in such a manner so that the cannon spirits will walk straight to each other and therefore do damage to each other. We also need to make sure that we are surviving, so as, as soon as we lose HP, uh, we must heal each other up immediately. Um, yeah. Uh, most of these spells are useful. I think the only useful one is uh, the healing spell. But pusher is useful uh, because when you do pushback damage, it pushes back two squares and it does around um, 30 damage, which is a lot more than any other spell will do. We are ending uh, strategically. Uh, sometimes we have to end in line with them uh, so that they hit each other. But it's fine because we can heal each other up. Uh, the Rebellious Spirit, which is the monster at the bottom right, it does not have um, any MP, so it literally um, it, it just stays there. So what we want to do is move in such a way so that we get the Cannon Spirits to line up straight with the uh, sh straight with the Rebellious Spirit, so that when the Rebellious Spirit starts its turn, it will attack the Cannon uh no, no, when the Cannon Spirit starts its turn, uh, it will attack the Rebellious Spirit because the Rebellious Spirit is linear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so see right now, uh, it hit um, myself, the Cannon, and the Rebellious Spirit because we were linear. Uh, overall, the fight is not too difficult. It's literally just um, healing each other up and making sure that we are able to um, we're able to survive. So, considering the fact that it has um, ended there, it's a good thing because I'm going to stay here and that way every single turn uh, the Cannon Spirit will be attacking the Rebellious Spirit because it will always be linear with the Rebellious Spirit. Uh, I do have two teammates to heal me up, so even if I lose uh, HP, they can heal me up, so it's not much of a problem at all. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the heal spell is uh, pretty good for keeping each other alive. Um, yeah. The rest of the fight is pretty much just passing turns and keeping each other alive. While the cannon spirits start their turn off, they will be uh, attacking. Uh, attacking the rebellious spirit, so that's good. 
the the um the the spells that I have um the attacking spells they they're actually extremely weak like they do less damage than what the uh, heal actually does so it's wise to just um let them let the monsters hit each other while we stay here and heal each other up uh, we also have zero resist so that's pretty unfortunate yeah but it's literally just healing each other up uh rebellious spirit should die soon very very soon i believe it should die uh, in one more turn yeah there we go now the rest of the fight is pretty much doing damage yeah you can see the perforation spell which is the brown spell it does very very low damage so it's even the pushback spell one damage it's not very good at all um yeah so the rest of the fight is easy doing damage and killing it off I'm nearly dead, but it doesn't matter because we're at the win anyway. One damage, yeah, you can see it's really weak. There we go. Uh, GG. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you at the next one.